going to start standing. Placing the feet in width apart, grounding down into your heels, to the outer edges of your feet, ground down the ball mount of the pinky toe and the ball mount of the big toe. And then stretch your toes up. Lift the arches of your feet. Make your knees straight and then release. Take your hands to your hips and move the pelvis around. Find a neutral pelvis. Feel the side body lengthen. Space between the very tops of your hips and the very bottoms of your ribs. Bring your shoulders up by your ears. Bring your shoulder blades together without pushing the ribs forward. And then release your hands, palms facing forward, toes to the mat. Feel yourself in an active standing pose, Tadasana. With your eyes closed, observe the center line of your body. Not leaning forward or back or to the right or to the left, but staying right in the middle. Feel your whole body expand, receive the inhale. Feel yourself empty out, draw closer together, become more connected as you exhale. Inhale. Feel the breath, extending into your fingers, extending into the feet, extending into the crown of your head. And as you exhale, feel everything pull back towards the center line. You can imagine everything coming back towards the spine and the navel as you breathe out. Feel yourself alive, breathing. Set an intention for your practice. We're going to be working on the IT bands, the outer hips today, but bring your own intention, your own dedication to the practice. Why do you want to practice today? Why do you want to move the energy? Why do you want to have a yoga session today? Two more breaths. Reach your arms up as you breathe in. And exhale, bow forward, bending at your hips, softening your knees so that your hands come all the way down to the mat. Shake your head. Relax the head. Bring the backs of your hands to the mat. Take two deep breaths. Place your hands down, step two, plank pose. Feel your body long, not shortening the breath at any point throughout your practice. Lower to your belly, feel free to lower the knees first. And then two, a baby cobra, lifting the chest, lifting your hands. Keeping the tops of your feet, pressing down, firming up the thighs. Lifting your chest a little more, breathe into your belly. Come into downward facing dog, either through tabletop or pushing back up through push up. Bend your right knee slightly towards you and then over to the left, twisting your hips a little bit. Your fingers spread, 
Reach the left hip up and back. Change your sides. Start to bend the left knee towards you and then over to the right. Press your left, right heel back, excuse me. Come to downward facing dog. Look at your hands, spread your fingers. Look at your feet. Make sure the heels are tucked behind the toes. Breathe up and down the spine. Slowly walk your feet to your hands. Press into your legs, elongate the spine, inhaling deeply, exhale, fold towards your legs. Come all the way up to standing, press into the feet, squeeze the glutes, lift up through the fingers, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Lean into the right foot and lift your left leg. Bring your right hand to the outer thigh. Extend the left arm back. Imagine that the left knee is pressing forward, the left fingers reaching back, soften the shoulders. Big breath in. Exhale, and return to center. Release the foot. Weight into your left foot, right leg. Lifts, 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. Left hand to the right knee. My arm extends back. Push into your left foot and feel the crown of your head long, tall. As you exhale, return to center. Place your foot down mindfully. Feet under the hips, lift your toes again, lift your arms. As you exhale, drop the toes down, fold forward. Flatten your back, inhaling. And exhale, set the left foot back, lower the left knee, low lunge. Straighten the front leg to bring your hips square towards the front of the mat, bend into the knee. Lift your left arm up, inhale. And exhale, cross the elbow outside the thigh. Hands together, elbows stacked. Only twisting as deeply as you can remain connected to your breath and remain connected to your intention. As you exhale, breathe all the breath out. As you inhale, slowly lift yourself back into low lunge. Bring your hands down, straighten your right foot, hips in line. So the left knee is right under the hip. The right leg is moving towards straight. Walk your hands over to the right side, outside the right foot. Keep walking your hands. Keep drawing the right hip back. Inhale, come to center. Bend into the knee. Hands down. Step back to plank pose. Lower to your belly. Inhale, roll up slowly with the breath in. And exhale, take the full exhale to come into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Step the left foot forward at the bottom of your next exhale. Lower the right knee, come up to a low lunge and straighten the left leg to bring your hips into neutral, then bend back into the left knee. Reach your right arm up, and cross the elbow outside the thigh. Bring your left hand on top of your right, and use your left hand to twist deeper. Use the momentum or the leverage of your left arm to push the right hand down, squeeze the left leg and the right leg together. Exhale fully. Inhale, come back up. Bring your hands down, exhaling straight in the left leg. Keep the hips moving back, the heart moving forward. Slowly walk your hands on the outside of your left foot. Keep the left hip moving back. 
Maybe continue to walk with your hands. Come back to center, bend the knee. Lift your right knee, step forward. At the same time you step forward, flatten your back. As you exhale, fold towards the legs. Inhale, come all the way. Push evenly into the feet. Lift your fingers, lift your toes. Exhale, toes come down, hands come to heart center. Weight comes into the left foot. Right leg comes up. Take the same twist, left hand to the outer leg, right arm reaching back. Maybe turn your gaze. Look towards the back of the room or your right thumb. Hands come to center, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot back. Come into a high lunge, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to your hips. Straighten both legs and bring the right heel down. The feet can be wider than your hips. Or the heels can be aligned, squeeze inner thighs together, hold halfway. Pull your ribs in, widen the whole back. Take another breath. Exhale, bring your hands down, maybe to a mat, maybe to the left shin or to blocks. You want to feel this all the way up the left leg. So any micro bending is okay as long as you're sending the left hip back. You can bow deeper. You can fold the back leg. Bring your hands down. Slide the right foot back. Slide the left foot back. Lower to the mat. Come into cobra pose. Full breath in. Exhale, full breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bring it towards the right elbow and send it out to the side. Start to walk your right foot back and your left foot over to the right. Lower your left hip to the mat. Come on to your elbows. Square your chest. Make any adjustments so that you feel this in the left glute, in the left IT band. You can stay on your hands, on your elbows. You can lower to your belly, extend your arms, look to the left. Make your way to downward facing dog, whether that's a vinyasa or going directly there. Lift your heels, inhale. Exhale, step or hop forward. Flat back, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Push into your feet. As you lift your arms, lift your toes. As you exhale, bring your hands to heart center and lower your hands to heart. Breathe. Bring the weight into your right foot. Lift the left leg, right hand to the leg, start to twist the spine. Maybe looking towards the back thumb or the back wall. The thumb will be a harder gazing point to maintain. Bring your hands to center, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lift your arms, take a high lunge here. Another breath. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten both legs. Pop your heel in so that the left heel comes to the mat. Fold halfway. Fold halfway and then hollow out the back. 
pull out the throat. Take this however deeply you wish. Hands on the shin, hands on your blocks of mat, or holding onto the back leg. Hands come to the mat, left foot slides back, right foot steps back, downward facing dog, flowing or lifting the hips, maintaining connection to your intention, to your breath, right leg extends up, as you exhale bring it to the left elbow and then extend it out to the side, start to walk your left heel back and lower your right hip all the way down. Turn your chest towards the front of your mat, slowly lower here. Lower all the way to your belly and look to the right, deepest expression. You can use your hands to help torsion your chest. Make your way to downward facing dog through a vinyasa or through plank pose and lifting the hips. Take your feet one step closer to your hands. Soften the knees. Hands walk closer to each other, take your left hand to your right leg, twist, and at the same time, lift your hips up. Left hand down, right hand comes to the left leg, twisting your down dog. Release the hand, step or hop your way into Malasana. Lower your hips. Breathe. Remind yourself why you're here, why you're practicing. Come all the way to standing. Hands to heart, feet under the hips. Step back to the wide edge of your mat. Turn your toes slightly in and fold forward. Bring your hands onto the mat or onto blocks. This would be a really good time to use a chair or something because we're going to go deep into the outer hips. Start to walk to the left. As you walk to the left, turn your feet to the left as well. Continue to walk around and maybe come into the outer edges of your feet. Twisting as deeply as you can. Use your hands to kind of push to the right. As you feel this in the outer hips and the low back, press your thigh and your hamstring together. Unwind yourself from all the way around and all the way to the other side. So if you need props under your hands, Take something to help lift your chest to make this not quite as deep. I also feel this in my ankles and on the outsides of my calves as well. Unwind, come to center. Soften the knees, bring your hands to your hips, and lift your chest. Separate your feet about a leg's distance apart. Turn your front toes forward. Lift your arms out in line with the shoulders. Tilt your hips back and bring your hand to the shin or the mat. Come into triangle pose. Extend the top arm in the same line as your bottom shoulder. Or keep it on the hip. Round down through the back leg. Bring your bottom ribs forward. 
bring both hands down. Hop your back foot in a little bit and maybe a little bit outside. Come into a twisted triangle. Bring your right hand to your hip. Start to spiral your chest. Push into the front foot and feel your hip moving up and back to elongate the outside of the hip. Bring your hands down, hands to the hips, lift up, turn to the side and over to the other side. Maybe separate your feet a little bit wider, arms extend out, start to tilt your hips back, elongate from the bottom hip to the armpit and bring your hand to a block or your leg or the mat. The tailbone is reaching back. The crown of your head is reaching long forward. Bring both hands down. Step your back foot a little bit closer and a little bit wider. Hips send back. Hand outside the foot. Hands to the hips start to rotate your chest while pressing the hips up and back. Optional to lift the top hand, but you can keep it on the hip. For grounding, you can keep your gaze down as well. Bring your hands down. Bring your hands to your hips. With a breath in, come up. Turn to the side. Heel, toe, your feet in. Come back to Tadasana. Bring the weight into the right foot. Lift your left leg. Take an extension here. You can come to the same version that we've been practicing. Hand to the knee, or you can bring your hand to your foot and start to press your foot forward and spiral your chest. You should feel this big time in the outer hip, working toward balance. Only move your neck, only move your gaze. To the, right, to the left or back, if you feel balanced. From the center, cross your leg over the thigh. Sit back, take three breaths. Come to standing. Inhale, exhale. Weight into the left foot, right knee comes up, hand can come outside the thigh again, or you can grab hold of the foot and start to push your foot forward, keeping the leg relatively straight, sending the hip back, spiraling the chest. Find your balance before moving the neck, before moving the gaze. Come to center, cross the leg over the thigh, sit back, breathe. Come all the way to standing. Take a breath in and out. Step to the top of your mat, make your way to downward facing dog. You can move directly there. You can take a vinyasa flow. Right foot steps forward, come into a high lunge. Last option here, come to a twist. We're coming to the arm balance. Bring your hands down outside the right leg. Right hip onto the elbows, extend your legs in opposite directions. Bring the feet down, we're staying the lunge. Inhale, come into a high lunge. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, step the left foot forward. Come into 
a high lunge first, come into a twist. Option to stay in the twist. You can stay with your hands at your heart, working deeply into the twist, or you can bring your hands down, outer hip onto the elbows, feet extending away from each other, heart open. Bring your feet down, return to a high lunge, bring your hands down, downward facing dog, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, inhale, exhale, come to seated. Sit tall without holding. Come back to your breath. Extend your legs. Take your left leg over the right thigh. Flex the right foot, outer edge of the left foot on the mat. Stay here or tilt forward. Or if you'd like to go deeper, you can come into Gomukhasana. So stay as you were, or you can bend both knees. You can add a bind into the arms. Take five deep breaths. Release. Extend your legs. Come into the other side. Take your right foot over the left leg. Left foot flexed. Right foot pinky toe edge on the mat. Stay here. Tilt forward. Or if any other variations of the pose are in your practice, practice those. <laughs> Figuring out which arms that you bound and which legs that you crossed. It's at least the trickiest part. Take five breaths. Release. Extend the legs. Start to come onto your back. Take one minute here for free time movement. So in the comfort of your home, move yourself in any way that feels good. Maybe an inversion feels right, right now. Maybe a back bend, maybe a spinal twist. But take this time to ask yourself, what do I need for the rest of my practice? Maybe I need to lay on my back and not move. Or maybe I need an active heart opener or inversion. Take another five breaths to complete whatever you're working on. As you're ready, come into final rest. Imagine that you dropped something on the floor, like a towel. Feel that same 
dropping down with your body. Feel it kind of spread out, sink down, collapse onto the floor. Take yourself up with your breath. The little parts of your body. Stretch out everything. Make your way to seated. Come to any comfortable seated posture, kneeling, cross-legged, lotus, half lotus. And we do not practice yoga to achieve or get into certain postures. We practice to feel, to open up to feel adequately stretched and strengthened and relaxed. Finding balance between those three. While listening, connecting to yourself. So honor that place within you that drives you to practice, to connect, to listen, to feel balanced. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.